What's up guys, Dante here and now I'm giving you a review of the TV I bought about a few weeks ago for my birthday. I wanted to treat myself, look at the man cave with a brand new TV, 4K 65 inch. So I went all out for my birthday. And the one thing I can say when you're shopping for a TV is like buying a car move. So you, there's so many different types of TVs, different HDR process. HDR is HDR, but sometimes different TVs do it a lot better than others. And then you got OLED, you got 4K, you got Curve. There's so many different options out there when it comes to TV. You gotta find what's best suited for you. So I looked at a couple videos on YouTube and tried to figure out which one was best suited for what I needed to do. So I came up with the Sony x 900 e So this was 65 inch. The price range was reasonable for me. Like I said, I was only willing to spend but so much. So I went on and got this one now. It has Android TV. Now Android TV doesn't have all the apps that I use, but over time they probably will eventually come. So it's a, it's a waiting process. So I also use my Fire TV stick or a Fire TV. If, if anyone is available, I grab either one of those, so I use that. So I get the access to the apps that I can get from those devices on this TV. First and foremost, let me start off by saying this TV screen is very glossy. Now you can see kind of reflections of the light and everything in it. Now, depending on where you sit this TV, be careful because if you sit it next to a window, you will get the glare and light from the outside. If you're trying to watch 4K content, you got to be careful because some content on 4K, the light in is real like bright. So it's like it's even like it's like being in a room in a bright room with light. So the TV actually reflects like that. So you can see, kind of see your reflection in with the light coming in and the TV screen and it's like it's a mess so depending on what kind of settings you use for this TV depends on how what kind of outcome you're going to get now I've been using the cinema pro because where I got it I used to it keep it dark down here it's like a movie theater down here so I keep it dark most of the time so cinema pro is perfect for that it's real dim but if you're in the daylight or your room is real lit you might want to use uh, the standard setting or a cinema home setting that may be a little whichever one works for you you gotta really play around with the uh, settings on this TV to really get what you're looking for out of this TV one of the issues that I found that annoyed me at first now it kind of fizzled out but when I first got a TV I used the TVs on the app now the TVs on the app works perfectly fine they all look fine they look great on the 4k now when I use my 4k blu-ray player some of the like the Netflix app looked real grainy the contrast wasn't that good and like the coloring was just oh so unbalanced so I didn't understand if that was a TV or that was a device problem but over time I, I guess that problem fixed itself I guess with an update or two or something like that but it doesn't do that anymore but when I first got the TV and was using it the 4k blu-ray player was doing this weird thing where colors was just wasn't right and the contrast was all messed up it was just a mess but when I used it on the TV it wasn't no problem at all now watching 4k content and HDR looks great Netflix voodoo has like 4k movies that I watch from time to time YouTube of course now not all apps are in 4k so over time they hopefully they eventually get to that point but overall this tv i'm enjoying it i like it i played a few games on this tv games run great 120 hertz so the refresh rate is perfect for this what also what i've noticed is that sometimes with my fire stick or the fire tv this tv like doesn't see it sometimes like sometimes i'll be watching something on there and then the next day i turn the tv on and then like it doesn't see it at all even when I boot up the Fire TV or the Fire Stick, it just doesn't see it. Doesn't come up on the menu where you got your input set and things like that. It just doesn't see it. So I don't know if that's a the Fire Stick issue or the TV issue. Could be, you know, Sony makes the TV so they decided like only certain devices can work on here, like they PlayStation, like they Blu-ray players. Not saying other things don't work, but they probably probably give you a hiccup from time to time. That's what I've noticed and experienced with this TV. But overall, I'm enjoying this TV. I really recommend it if you can afford it because, like I said, it was around the price where I was willing to spend for this TV. Now, like I said, shopping for TV is real tricky. You got to find out what you want. So also look up YouTube videos about people who review a lot of TVs and see their opinion on TVs and see which ones they prefer, which ones they like and don't like. Because you can go out there and see this cheap TV that's 4K. Yeah, it's good. But then when you try to hook up certain devices to it, it may not work as well as you like it. So overall, you may have to look into things like that when it comes to shopping for a TV. But this is pretty much it for my review for my brand new TV. Stay tuned for more as far as things I'm going to be doing as far as the gaming and the video content. And see, just to see, like to show you the difference between my other 4K TV and this one. And how different the pictures are as far as the HDR content. So stay tuned for more. Thank you guys for watching. Post your comments down below. Let me know what y'all think. Also, like and subscribe to this video. Share it out there for me. I mean, put it out there. And thank you guys once again for staying tuned. Stay tuned for more. Thank you guys for everything. See you in the next video.